Yo, 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 how's it going? Savon here. Today we're doing another customization. It's been a while, but I've been doing them, you know, every other day since the last time I uploaded, which was a few years ago. But I do customizations all the time. But today we're doing Nikes. I've got some typical Air Force here, and then uh, I'm choosing Rit Dye. This one is Kentucky Sky. I don't know if the camera's going to reverse it or not, but you can see that. You can go to any Michael store or craft store and get it. Maybe uh, it's a between like $4 to $6. Um, anyway, so of course you're gonna need some gloves, nice little bucket to put it in, or you can use a metal one, as long as it can fit your shoes and hold, you know, water and not melt or whatever. And then, you can either boil the water, or you can just hit it with this, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, yeah, so the next clip should be me doing all that, so here we go, let's go. So here we go, pouring it in. I'm pouring all of it in, because I want the um, strongest color possible. You know, plus it's only a little bit, like look how much is in there. I see a lot of YouTubers uh, pouring half the bottle in and then wonder why they get such a, you know, a weak result. It's because of that. Okay. You gotta pour it all in. All right. Put the water to heat out. Very carefully. Lower it down, because now it's nice and hot. Then, I'd say pour about halfway before you dunk the shoes and then pour the rest of the way. Okay. Now, laces. Boom. Shoes. Now I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put the phone down. Okay. Now, as you can see, I put the weight down. It's a 15-pound weight. Don't necessarily need that, but here's a little close-up of what it's looking like in there. I doubt that it's ever going to be that bright of a blue, whatever's going on there. That's just a reflection of the water. But I'm going to leave it there for about maybe the whole day. And I'll check in on it tomorrow and see what's going on. So, peace until then. Well, here's the finished product. Didn't come out exactly the way I wanted, but it's okay. I feel like there wasn't enough dye in that bottle. It felt light anyway, but... No need for excuses. I can easily just re-dye them again and again until I get the right color. They're more of like a pastel blue. If you look at them very closely. Yeah. And I'm going to just give you a nice view because I hate when YouTubers just give you like a five minute video then show like three seconds of the damn shoe. So I'm going to just give you some nice views here. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Oh. Got some nice little baby blue. It's it's borderline powder blue. And you see even the tag. See, I wish it was as bright as the tag. I wish it turned that color around the whole shoe, but it's okay. Let me show you the left one. It's still, eh, you know. Yeah. The bottoms are still borderline kind of like white, like cool gray. Yeah. That looks nice on camera. That little, uh, yeah, little sign there. That's cool. Yeah, if I darken it around. That looks nice. And here are the laces. There you go. I let them dry out. And then, yeah. Alright, so that's the end of the video um i would do it on foot but they're still kind of damp so i'd much rather crank the video out now because i'm gonna start doing more videos like this and just getting back into my mode of creating so if you like this video you know thumbs it up give it a like subscribe even share it you know i'm not really on instagram anymore as you can tell from my channel videos i'm doing a whole like instagram thing where i'm just not on it anymore like without instagram look forward to part four and five i'm gonna just post those today so i guess uh sending positive vibes love and light and see you in the next video peace